any time. Maybe. Maybe one year. Ah, oh, one years ago. Yeah. Ah, uh, and before? Where do you work? Um, um secretary. Ah, okay, okay. In a law office. Ah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Hello, class. Okay. Hey, hello. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. And you? How was your weekend? Good. Very good. And Nuri, please, Nuri. <laughs> hello. Oh. Good, good, working, working. <laughs> <laughs> so what you worked on the weekend, Nuri? Yes, teacher. That's good. Yes. <laughs> really? Really is good? <laughs> <clears throat> hey, an another day, another dollar. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course, of course. Hey, Marielos. Mami, mami. Hello. Mar good evening. Marielos. In your office? No, I'm at I home. Ah, at okay. Home. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Did you work on the weekend, Marielos? No, this weekend I didn't work. <laughs> That's good because you are a workaholic. Um, <laughs> sort of. Sort of. <laughs> what, about, what about you, Alexander? What did you do? Uh, let me see. Uh, Saturday, resting. But yesterday I went to uh, San Miguel because I need to uh, uh, bring or, or is or uh, see I bring a employee to San Miguel or llevar. I took. I took. Uh -huh. I took <clears throat> what? I took bring. Well, I I I. I don't understand. You took an employee to the where? To the house? Yes, or? I, to, to un empleado. I had to take an employee. Okay. I had to take an employee in San Miguel. To San Miguel. Okay. Yes, to San Miguel. Sorry. See, to San Miguel. Did you stay in San Miguel? No. Uh, just I. We have a, a, a company. Uh, no. We serve a food. Mm -hmm. In a company in San Miguel. Oh, okay. And, uh -huh. and we need one person more because uh, we have uh, five people, but one people uh, uh, canceled. Sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. He got sick. One, one person uh -huh. got sick. Uh huh. He got sick. Uh huh. And I need to one person to go to the uh, the cafe team. And for that cafeteria. Reason, I, oh, yeah, okay. yes, yes, cafeteria, cafeteria. But it's not easier to send by bus? Oh, uh, yes, it's easy. <laughs> no, because you know what? Th those super special buses to San Miguel, they're nice. Yes. They're but very you wanted to visit but, San Miguel. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, I... I went in my car. Yeah. yeah. No, but you know, next time, next time, just send the person on bus on a super special bus. No, 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 because it's a, a, a it's a specific a specific place. It's a, a San Luis de la Reina, but a, oh the, okay. Yes, it's exactly is a Canton Las Iglesias, in San Luis de la Reina. And for that reason, I need to uh, took. Uh, Yes, I need to, I need to take, get, uh, I need to take employee. Mm -hmm. Okay, to San Miguel Reina. Oh, okay. Yes. How was San Miguel? Cold? Uh, really no cold, but no hot because it's like a, a, a little rain. Okay. All right. Yes. Nice. Yes. Okay. Good. What about you, Oscar? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good. Yeah, what did... Well, but what I do? <laughs> yes. Well, nothing. Only uh, stay at home and then cook 
only th only that <laughs> this this was a very um very quiet uh, weekend because i don't feel very well i know i i don't know i i feel like a sore throat okay so i don't know <laughs> if i have another thing but i hope no oh okay mm -hmm. hopefully it's not it's not i hope so COVID. Yes, I I hope that no because I have um I have had yes yes a COVID uh, one year ago so since that I don't get COVID again again oh okay I don't know <laughs> yeah that's true yes. <clears throat> All right, let me see. Okay, let me check. Okay, let me see. Let me open up. It's a raining in your house. Yes. Teacher. It's raining? Yes, teacher. It's raining, it's raining here in Chalchuapa. Yes, <clears throat> a lot. In my house, no. Yes, yeah, sure, no. Yeah, here by my house, it rained hard today. Mm -hmm. Well, not hard, but I mean, it rained a long time. Okay. Yeah, so... Okay, so remember last week, what did we finish doing last week? Do you remember? I, I don't remember. Is that, is that what the mirror? I don't remember exactly. Passive voice? We're doing passive voice and what else? Remember we used the simple pass, the past perfect. Uh, yeah. Here, let me share my screen with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are here. It says readings. Instruction, mm -hmm. read the email message, then choose the phrase that best complete each <laughs> sentence. So let me see. Can everybody see? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, we have one, two paragraphs. <laughs> wow, well, two parts. Let's do one thing. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, since Nuri was the first person to come in the chat, Nuri and Alexander were actually. Okay. So Nuri, can you read the first part, please? Okay, teacher. Okay. Rick, just told me uh, that Benny got fired earlier today. I overheard Benny talking to Lisa. He said he was going to tell his boss that he wasn't going to work on the Pekin project anymore. Lisa warned him not to talk to the boss, but I guess he did anyway. Okay, good. Questions? Do you understand every word in this in this paragraph? No, I, I don't know the meaning of overheard. Very overheard. good. <clears throat> overheard is when you listen when you listen to something that is not directly to you. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you, you are doing your business, but you're listening to, to the people next to you talk. Mm -hmm. I overheard. Mm -hmm. So like when you're in a bus, you overhear conversations, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that that's the expression overheard when you're listening to uh, something okay when you're listening okay. to something that is not like directly to you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the make the make it with uh, yes yes <laughs> all right what other words do you understand or don't understand <laughs> I think that's it, right? I think overheard me. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Alexander, can you read the second paragraph? Okay. Then later, I heard Benny telling Fred the same thing. Fred encouraged Benny to think about it first. He warned Benny not to make the decision today because the boss was in a bad mood. In a bad mood. Okay. What do you think? Hey, do you want to have lunch today? Meet me by the elevator at noon, Jackie. So Kate is Chambrosa, so she's communicating with Jackie. <laughs> All right. What is bad mood? Uh, yes, I know. What yeah. Bad mood. The like mal humor. Yes. Okay. Keep uh, pay attention to the word mood, because mm -hmm. sometimes you're in a good mood. Sometimes you're in a bad mood. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're in a mood for ice cream. Mood mm -hmm. what? Like, for example, mood can also be related to antojo. Uh, you know, like you say, oh, man, I am in a mood for, uh, for, um, ¿cómo se llama esto de? Chil Nuegados. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, okay. Yeah, I me, mean, you know, I've been in a mood for Nuegado since yesterday. Maybe mm -hmm. because of the weather. You want mm -hmm. chilate, Nuegado, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Maybe because of that. All right, good. No questions? Maybe no. your wife is pregnant again. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's not. I hope not. <laughs> Oh my God, no. <laughs> no, but you know, sometimes, sometimes uh, when you smell, I, I, I was telling my wife, sometimes I, I miss the smell of a baby. Mm. When yeah. you that, that unique smell mm. of a baby is nice. Mm -hmm. well, now they don't smell nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so... Thank you, Alexander, and thank you, Nuri. So mm -hmm. let's do, let me see. Do, 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 do. Luis, can you read num oh, number one? Benny, what? Okay, don't worry. Yes, teacher. So, what is number one? Number one? Yes. Oh, I, I, I didn't. I didn't see nothing. Did you listen to the email? A, a rig, a Kate, a rig just told me that Benny got top fighter. Yes. Did you listen to that? Nuri and Alexander read that. Oh, okay. I got fired. Okay. Can you read the complete sentence, please? Benny uh, got fired. Okay. One more time. Benny got fired. Uh huh. Can you repeat that, please? Benny, oh Benny, that mm -hmm. fire. Thank you, uh, Luis. Try not to do this. Try not to do this. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, um, I forget. Se me se llama eso. Try not to do that because mm, your fluency. Try to say it complete like. Oh, Benny got fired. But if you do this, um, Benny uh, got fired. Okay. Yeah, so from now on, try to. Okay? Try, okay? try to do that. Watch. Then you remember me. All right, Miguel, number two. 
Okay, teacher. Lisa warned Benny not to talk to the boss. Okay, Lisa warned Benny not to talk to the boss. All right. Marielos, can you do number three, please? Okay. Fred told Benny that the boss that the boss was in a bad mood. Exactly. Yes. And number four, Oscar. Number four, uh, Jackie asked Kate to go to lunch with her. Awesome. Now we're going to have another reading. Dear Anita. Okay, now we're going to have the only active people I see is Nuri, Alexander, Marielos, Oscar, Miguel, and Luis. Luis, can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay. okay. Remember, remember. No, uh, mm, uh, remember Dear that. Anita, I can? Yes. Okay, thank you. Dear Anita, I got to tell you about what happened to me uh, the other night. All the, all the dorm, we at have, the dorm. all the dorm, at, at, uh, at the door, we have this tire drill from time to time. So what happened was, I was exhausted from studying for a test and I was fast asleep in my bed. In my middle of the night, we had a fire drill. Even though uh, the alarm was loud, my roommate Link had to make, to wake me up, wake me up. Very good. Okay, good. Questions, class. Everybody understand the words? Fire drill, do you know what is a fire drill? No, I don't know what I mean fire drill. Okay, but nobody asked me. <laughs> okay, so Alexander, you're the only person that said that you don't know what a fire drill is. So I imagine everybody knows what is a fire drill. So mm -hmm. let's see. <laughs> Oscar, mm -hmm. what is a fire drill? A fire drill, drill. I think that is um, the, the alarm in the roof. I don't know. No. No, that's the, a the, fire the, alarm. Fire alarm, ah, OK. Es un no. ensayo. Decía hay un incendio que hacer. Yes, it's like a practice. Practice. In your company, in your school, in, in a place where there's a lot of people, sometimes you practice in case of emergency, in case of a fire, what do you do? Mm -hmm. In case of an earthquake, what do you do? Simulacro. Mm -hmm. Simulacro. Simulacro. Simulacro, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. Studying a test, I, um, and I was fast asleep in my bed. I meant this on my bed, not in my bed. And in the middle of the night, we had a fire drill. Even though the alarm was loud, my roommate Ling had to wake me up. What mean Ling? My roommate Ling? That is the name of the roommate. Hmm? Uh, Ling. That is the uh, name. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 okay. Is she at the dorm? Dorm is, so what I imagine here is that maybe they are university students mm -hmm. and they were sleeping in the dorm inside the university. Mm -hmm. There are many good stories about Mexico Gonzalez and fire drills, correct? Mm. <laughs> that one time there was a fire drill, I, I don't know, in Barcelona or something. Mm -hmm. And like, and all the team went out like, oh my, and it was a real, real fire drill. Oh. And like, where's in Mexico, where's in Mexico? And they go and look for Mexico and he was inside with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
he said, he pensé que era de mentira. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> This person. Okay. Okay. Second sentence. We're going to read it from Mora San Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Who could that be? There she is. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What are you eating? Chocolate. <laughs> nice. It's my dinner. Oh, that's a good dinner. All right, so read, read the third, uh, second paragraph, please. Okay. So we went downstairs, downstairs and out of the building to wait for the drill to be over. Everyone else in the dorm was outside too. I was so tired and I really wasn't paying attention. The next thing, the next thing I knew, everyone was laugh, laughing hysterically. I didn't know what they were laughing about. Laughing about. Laughing about it. Okay. About. Okay. All right. <laughs> David, estoy en clase ahorita. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Hey, my name is David, so okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Marielos. All right, cool. Thank you. And Miguel, can you finish it? Okay. To make a long story short, a high gone. I had gone downstairs wearing my pajamas with little pink cats all over them. And the other thing was, I was carrying my teddy bear. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> and right soon, I tell me what you, you're up to. You are to. Love your big embarrassed sister, Maria. Love your big embarrassed sister maria okay good you know this is something people take very seriously in the united states mm -hmm. any drill they take very seriously in el salvador we don't care mm -hmm. i remember like in the year 2005 i was working in dell and by salvador del mundo mm -hmm. when it was dell dell it was maybe the best company i have worked Mm -hmm. And um, we had every, every drill, every possible drill. And I remember one time um, the, the secret service of the embassy of the United States came there because they take, they take things very seriously because um, I think it was Primero de Mayo. And um, remember, remember Primero de Mayo, so all the people from FMLN, they would always protest. And I think the protest finished in Salvador del Mundo and Dell was maybe the first American company. They know gringos fuera, Yankees, Yankees. And they started throwing rocks to the building. Oh, to us, uh, yeah, um, everything. And the drill, the alarm, don't go out, don't go out. And everybody was in the window looking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember one thing um, that the police from El Salvador, they were there, but they were like only standing, just watching. But because they were, they were American citizens, there were gringos there. Mm -hmm. And the embassy, they sent their special security. Man, those were some big people. Cuando eso llegaron, like, oh, wow. It was funny. Mm -hmm. But one time, there was, a, there was an earthquake drill. There was actually an earthquake. The blow. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was, I had my headset, and I was talking, and then it started shaking, you know. It started like, oh... Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, my God, earthquake, earthquake. People, earthquake. And I stood up and I went running to the exit, you know, like the drill. Mm -hmm. And I started going downstairs. And when I noticed, 
I look behind me and I was the only person that was running like that I follow directions. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> when I came back and I opened the door, the complete floor, you know, they were laughing at me like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, yeah, you're laughing now, but imagine this was more serious. I'd be laughing. <laughs> 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 yes I tell my wife too I you know um, in the house we have a drill okay if anything happens let's go to the garage garage and if something even bigger go to the street in the middle of the street where there's no posts mm -hmm. yes. forget under the table <laughs> nothing go mm -hmm. those are drills okay mm -hmm. So let's see. So Marielos. I'm Mari sorry, I'm back. <laughs> All right, cool. Can you do number one, please? Uh, Maria's dorm had fire. Fires. False. Good. And that's not correct. It's actually Maria's dorm was on fire. You don't have fire. It was on fire. All right, cool. Number two, Roxana. Do you... Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hello, Roxana. Elaine had to wake to wake Maria up for the fire drill. Is true. It's true. Very good. Let's see uh, 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 who has not participated. Okay, let's go one more time. Nuri, can you do number three, please? Okay. Maria was wearing pajamas with bears on them. False. What was she wearing? Pink cats. Yeah, pajamas with cats. Uh -huh, cats. <laughs> And number four, Mr. Alexander. See, Maria was embarrassed because she was carrying teddy bear. Is Maria? It's true, but I remember if Maria, the, who who the person uh, carrying a teddy bear. It was Maria. She's Maria. It's true. Okay. All right. Let's submit. Yep, we got them all right. Oh no! Wait. How come we? Lisa warned Benny. Uh huh. Not to make a decision. Not, today. To, not to make a decision today. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, now you tell me. Uh huh. Uh huh. But you didn't tell me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You didn't tell me in the moment. But I thought. I thought. Really, I thought. People, I'm decision, but... I'll say yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do next. And we should be number three now. All right, cool. We're in lesson three. Week three, lesson three. In this class, participants will learn and practice using internet terms. Can I ask you one thing? Uh, what do you think of Bitcoin? Not in El Salvador, just in general. What do you think? Actually, I, I I didn't know exactly, but the Bitcoin, I don't know, maybe in the future, maybe in the future, is a Bitcoin or the other, uh, how do you say, moneda, like, like a Bitcoin, maybe, uh, mm -hmm. maybe we will be uh, at the use because the paper money disappeared. I am sure that the paper okay. money disappeared and maybe appear a, a, a like a, the, a different Bitcoin or, or, or maybe like a credit card or, 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 or car. I don't know. Good. Hey, I had a good experience with Bitcoin because I had, I think, $40. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, but I had the $40 for a long time. And I went to the supermarket and said, 
I, I didn't have that much money. So I said, mm -hmm. no, you know what? I, hey, I remember I have $40 in Bitcoin. And when I look, I had 48. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's $8 more in the supermarket. No, the reason, uh -huh. why, the, the reason why I ask you about Bitcoin, because it's something related to internet. Mm -hmm. I don't know very much about Bitcoin because mm -hmm. in, in our country, it's not that popular. Mm -hmm. Like in the United States or somewhere in Europe, that people now they just go and pay everything with their cell phone. They just put a scan. Mm -hmm. But many people say it's bad, it's good, but that's what people said about the internet. Que era pasajero, like, oh God, that's just ridiculous. And mm -hmm. now it's not going away, it's not going to disappear. Now it's like a basic necessity mm -hmm. the internet. Mm -hmm. Because remember, when the internet came out, it's similar to right now, the Bitcoin coming out, that everybody's an expert, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Bitcoin that much, but I like to know how it works. I like to listen to the both sides, you know, mm -hmm. it's good, mm -hmm. it's bad. But that's what happened when internet came out. Mm -hmm. Many people said, no, that's a lie because like bad people, they put fake news and this and that and that, and that's going to disappear quick. All the countries will not accept internet. Look at internet now. Mm -hmm. Remember 10 years ago, all the, all, the, um, all the malls, they had, they were full of cyber cafes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, now they're all beauty salons. But, <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. no. No, yeah, I, no, because the malls, mm -hmm. like Metro, I remember Metro Centro had like 10 or 20 cyber cafes. Yes. Now La Moda is um, beauty salons. Me da cólera ver barbería, like, oh, please. Nuri, Nuri, please. Tell something, Nuri. Tell something. No, okay. No, you know why, Nuri? For me, a barber is. <laughs> old school, old school, like cut my hair. Yes, boom, it boom. Is. But that's not a barber shop. That's a beauty salon for men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you see men with the beer. <laughs> you see men with beers. Y todo delicado, cortándose. Oh, please. <laughs> I imagine Rambo watching that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but um, that, no, you know, I tell, I tell people, you know what? I think this is the business right now. It's the look at the most. Like yes, I I see I see the majority of malls they're full of beauty salons and opticals. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so back to that. Uh, well, the reason why I asked you about uh, about um, Bitcoin is because that because it was similar to the internet mm -hmm. that many all the experts that maybe they haven't even used a computer in their life. And they were experts and everybody was saying, no, no, forget internet. Look at internet now. So mm -hmm. like Bitcoin, it's good or bad. But one thing I know is not going to disappear. Mm -hmm. Like Alexander say, maybe it's the future. Mm -hmm. But incluso like 10, 15 years ago, people still pay with checks. Now mm -hmm. everybody has a debit card. Everybody. Plastic. Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're going to see today, like terms of the internet. Mm -hmm. Internet terms. Yeah. That we like it or not, but we can't change it. They're going to stay here. Yes. And there's still, there's still a lot of more technology. Remember, I, I told you that, um, I worked in Dell, correct? Mm -hmm. and, um, I remember they, they, they would give us a lot of training. And I remember, imagine this is in 2005. Mm -hmm. They were showing us this new product that Dell was going to take out. Oh, porque solía alguien aquí habla con gente en Estados Unidos en su trabajo. Mm -hmm. No. No, teacher. Oh. Because you know that you cannot say the words president, bomb, or bin, uh, Biden. Mm -hmm. 
ellos nos decían, hey, do not say bomb, president, terrorist, mm -hmm. because all the calls in the United States, they have like this detector that if you mm -hmm. say bomb, mm -hmm. it gets recorded. And eventually somebody, the CIA will listen to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, what I say, that there was this commercial of this man. This is the commercial. The man, he was a Chinese man. And he goes to the hotel. Hi, Mr. Wong. Hello. Do you want the same room? Yes. Do you need anything special on the room? Oh, no, no, no. Hi, Mr. Wong. Hi. Are you on business or, or vacation? No, I am in business. Do you need anything extra on the room? Only a table, please. Are you sure? Do you need a desk or a computer? And he said, no, only a table. Okay, good. So Mr. Wong, he goes to the his room and he sees the table. And mm -hmm. he, he takes out a pen. Mm -hmm. And the pen has three, three like heads, mm -hmm. like three little antennas. And he pulls one, two, three, and he puts the, the pen on the table. And one antenna, boom, it was like um. It was the screen, like a like a projector. Mm -hmm. The other one, it was a hologram of the keyboard, and the other one, it was the mouse. Mm -hmm. And he was doing like that's how he was working. Really? Yeah, and yeah, and I I I still haven't seen that technology today. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe it didn't work, but I'm like, wow, and that was almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dicen que Steve Jobs dejó patentado like 20 things that que no han salido. Mm. So, you know, that's, that's when things are like that, they're here to stay. So let's hear the internet terms. Do you use internet frequently for business or pleasure? Both, every day. Yeah. Both, you make it both. Pleasure in, in business. Yeah. Yes. You know, it has it has become so so popular that Google is now a verb. Mm -hmm. So now you can actually say, I'm going to Google that. I'm going to Google. <laughs> yes. Uh, WhatsApp me. Hey, I'm gonna WhatsApp you later. <laughs> hey, fa uh -huh. Facebook me. Yeah, imagine those mm -hmm. terms. It's funny. Sometimes me canto ir a mi papá decir, hey, te vas a pie y no contestaste. <laughs> and my dad is old. I'm, oh my God, my father is speaking technology. This is cool. <laughs> okay, let's listen to this video. It says technology buzzwords. Do you know what is a buzzword? Mm, no. Can we okay. Buzzword? okay, number no. one is caliche. Buzzword es caliche. Okay. En cuando es caliche no hay una traducción exacta, pero yo diría palabra de interés. Okay. Por ejemplo, si yo soy abogado, estoy viendo la confesión de alguien, quiero oír buzzwords. No es que estábamos y, y de repente la persona vino y nos disparó. Oh, estábamos. So there were two people. <laughs> Y entonces le llamé a mi esposa. Ah, esposa. So he's married. So, I'm, so my buzzwords are, estábamos. Oh, that's a buzzword. Because, oh, there were two people. Y mi esposa dijo, ah, mi esposa. So he's married. So I don't need to ask you, but I'm taking that, all those words and information. When you're in sales, who, who is in sales here? Do you sell? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. In sales, it's very good to, for to listen to the buzzwords. Mm -hmm. For example, um, oh, Indel, hi. Uh, what computer is it that you're looking for? Oh, yeah, you know, just a simple computer, you know, that I can use for me and my children. You know, I can do some a little bit of work on that, and my children they go to school. They can do their homework. So I'm taking all those buzzwords. Oh, so, so it's her, her family, homework, work. I'm, I'm writing all those buzzwords. So when I attack her, 
Uh, to sell. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, she's she's giving me all the information that I don't need to ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I attack her, oh, okay, good. Now you told me that you um, you want this for your children and for you, so you need good RAM on this computer. You know, mm -hmm. I miss cells. It was cool. Listen to this. Watch. Listen to this. Okay, Roxana. Um, yeah. Where does hi? Uh, you live in Chalchuapa, right? Yeah. And your boyfriend? Where does he live? My boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't. I thought you did. Okay, good. Yeah. Sorry about that. You see? That didn't sound offensive. Why? But if I said if I, no. Uh -huh. I, yes. I use I use I use a technique on you mm -hmm. that yo no parecí como ay ya voy sobre <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know so I assumed you had a boyfriend but I it, it, it sounds better if I said Roxana do you have a boyfriend you know you can say why mm -hmm. but I say oh hi Roxana where do you live oh Chalchuapa oh okay good and your boyfriend where does he live and you tell me I don't have a boyfriend oh okay good boom. <laughs> Le saqué información sin preguntarse. Those are buzzwords. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, technology buzzwords. All right. You know, you know, I don't know if you saw a little bit of uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The, the case. La abogada de Johnny Depp Atacó a Stan Amber Heard con la mismo que ella dijo. She attacked her back. With little words. No, but you said this. No, you said this time. You said this. She confused her. All right, let's look at the video. Okay. Hi again. As you know, we use technology every day. That is why it's important to know vocabulary about technology. Technology buzzwords. One, download. Two, mm -hmm. chat room. Three, hotspot. Four, blog. Five, freeware. Six, webcam. Seven, podcast. Eight, spyware. Nine, instant messaging. Ten, computer virus. I'm sorry, what did she messaging. say for five? Ten. Eight, four, blog, five, freeware. Oh, yeah, it is freeware. I thought she meant fireware. Okay. Cool. <laughs> all right. So, believe it or not, we all understand this, right? Download. Mm hmm. Ah, my mouth. <laughs> okay, what is download? Let me see. Download. Okay, who can give me download in a sentence? Maybe, maybe transfer files to files to your computer. No, okay. Well, for example, do you download things? Yes. yes. Do you download music? Yeah, sometimes music, sometimes documents. Do you download uh, legally? Legal. Do you download legal or illegal? Legal. <laughs> illegal yes illegal. Oh. No, no illegal legal oh, i download illegal all the time <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i downloaded movies. Top, yes movies i downloaded top gun full hd the second <laughs> the second day it came out okay illegal oh <laughs> yes <laughs> no because you know you know that's something good because in el salvador i hasta el momento which is good that's no problem. Mm -hmm. One time I had a cousin in the United States. Mira, como bajas esa Oh, yeah, let me send you the link and this torrent, and you do this. And he, he did it, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, Puya primo, me metiste en problemas. Why? What happened? He downloaded a movie and immediately he received a, an email. We have detected that you did an illegal downloading. Ooh. 
Uh -huh. This is warning. If you do that again, this is penalized by the. Uh -huh. Yeah. You make it really that in El Salvador? That doesn't mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that's why. <laughs> what about you, Ivania? Do you have you downloaded King Flip's second album? <laughs> no. No, okay. No, only documents uh, like Alexander. Um, what else? Do you download music? Um, in uh, in myself only. You know in what myself? I do. You know what I do now. I don't download music anymore, like albums. What I do is I go to YouTube, mm -hmm. and yeah. I download the video. And I convert it to MP3. Mm. So I just download songs and, and make my, my carpet. Okay. Because sometimes you hear like in, in YouTube, you see versiones en vivo that are like, wow, that's nice. So I there download some them. platforms too, like Spotify. Yes. That you cannot uh, download the, the music. It's not necessary to download the music. Yes, it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we all understand download, right? What is the contrary of download? Mm -hmm. Upload. 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 Yeah. And remember, it's more difficult to upload than to download. Okay. Have you ever have you ever shared a video on, on WhatsApp? When you send a video, it takes a long time to upload. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. But once it's uploaded and then you share that video to another person, it's easy mm -hmm. because it's uploaded. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's mm -hmm. right. It's, it's always, it takes longer to upload than to download. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes people say, man, this internet is slow. No me subes to, you know. <laughs> oh, man, it's... You're uploading, you're not downloading. Okay, chat room. Ivania, how old are you? 29. 28, oh, 20. Wait, wait, when, when was your birthday? May uh -huh. 18. Oh, you were 28 last week. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. Didn't remember my age. <laughs> you said you said twenty eight. I already has my birthday, so. <laughs> You're twenty nine. I'm twenty nine. Yeah. You're still in your twenties. <laughs> okay. The reason why I ask you, Ivania, is because remember ten years ago when you were nineteen, what chat room did you use? to chat with your friends. Did you use Messenger? You're in mute. Sorry, I love Messenger. All right, that was your first chat room. Yes, yes. I, I even used before Messenger, I used America Online, AOL. American what? It's called AOL. Oh, oh really? yeah, it was mm -hmm. like American Online. That was like the. No, I didn't remember. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that is old. that is how old I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, those are those were chat rooms. Messenger was a very good chat room. Yes. Remember the bus? <laughs> <laughs> yes, when the person didn't um uh, didn't. Answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you noticed that now chat rooms have taken the place of emails? Mm -hmm. Like usually now emails are more for business than for personal use. Yes. Because now people prefer yeah. to use chat rooms. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now I think chats are, are like I think now it's more you... for formal. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So chat rooms. Now we have hotspot. Do you understand what is a hotspot, Luis? 
No, I, I don't know what is a hotspot. Do you do you have a cell phone? Yes. What is it? A telephone, cellular. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it a Samsung? Mm. Is it a blue? Is it a maybe a... very cool? Samsung. Samsung. Okay. It's a smartphone, correct? Yes. Does it have an option for hotspot? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe it does. Usually all the cell phones, they now have a hotspot. Okay, it's an application, app? No, no, it's like, you know, it's in the top where, you know, when you want to do the Wi-Fi, mm. the, um, the lamp, the Bluetooth, there's there should be a, a, a hotspot. What is a hotspot, Oscar? A hotspot is um, it's like an application where you can share your internet to another. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So yes, Luis, that's what a hotspot is. For example, when I go out with my son, he takes his tablet. And sometimes we have to wait for his mother, maybe 30 minutes in the car. So what I do is I use my phone. I activate the hotspot and my phone throws or sends the internet signal to his tablet. Okay. Yeah, if I don't do that, I suffer because. No <laughs> internet, mm -hmm. that, that's That is a hotspot. It's, it's a little difficult sometimes if you have never used it, it's kind of difficult the first time because it, there's um, the steps, but once you do it one time, it's easy, the rest. Mm -hmm. But I, I recommend you to learn how to use that. It's very, it's very, it's, it's good. It's important. All right, we have a hotspot. Then we have- Yeah, I know. You have it, Luis? Yeah, physical location where people uh, can access the internet. I typically use in Wi-Fi. Yes, it's basically you're sending your the signal from your phone of in, what the internet that your phone receives. You're giving permission to another a, a device to do it. Yes. Okay. Next, we have blog. No. What is a blog? Blog is it is the first way to when people try to explain or or sell or show something. For example, is how do you uh, cook egg, and then in blog. This or maybe a blog about ah information about the what happened in the United States or what happened etc. It's information, but talk about the something special. Yes, yes. A blog is like, for example, let's say Ivania. She wants. She's from Morasan. She's proud of being from Morasan, and she wants to open a blog about Morasan. So. You know, she's going to say, so today I went to eat at Pupuceria La Bendición de Dios in Morazán, which is very good because it's, is there a Bendición de Dios, Pupuceria in Morazán, Ivania? Uh, no, I yeah. didn't remember. <laughs> no, yes, there is. There is a Bendición de Dios. <laughs> okay, okay. By, by my house, I think every, like, there are 10 stores and maybe six are called La Bendición de Dios. Las tienditas. <laughs> have you noticed that all the pupuserias are called Bendición de Dios or mm -hmm. Santísima Trinidad or something? Yeah. But, but a blog is something. It's like something personal that you, it's a topic, un tema. Something that you want to talk about. Like Ivania, she wants to make a blog about Morazan. Yes. That's what she's gonna write about. She's, she she maybe puts information about Morasan. She puts um, a little story about Morasan or she 
puts pictures about Morazan. I had uh, that idea because I think um, we have many places to to do tourist tourism tourism yeah okay maybe yeah you should yeah and the name of your blog would be Desde Morazan Mama <laughs> not Papa Mama <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> no, just okay. Next is freeware. What is freeware? Mm. Freeware. I don't know. Malware, hardware, it's a, software. It's like, a like a like a free software, I think. Free software. Uh -huh. Maybe. Free mm-hmm. Okay, what else? Ah, uh, software available for free. Uh -huh. Maybe free work. Okay, mm -hmm. what else? We can get access for internet. Okay, yeah, freeware. Okay. Yeah, that's freeware. I have a question. What is software and hardware? What is the difference? Mm. Hardware is a physical computer, cell phone, et cetera, et cetera. And software is that, the, uh, I don't know, maybe I, I use the other term. It's a system into the computer, into the hardware, like a yeah. office, internet, uh, the other uh, is software. Very work. good, very good. Yeah, what I usually explain to people is software and hardware. Hardware is what you see and touch. Mm -hmm. Software is what you can't see, mm -hmm. but you use. Yes. ¿Saben cómo se dice ferretería en inglés? Oh, no. Hardware. Hardware store. Mm -hmm. Carrocería. <laughs> hardware. Hardware. Uh, yeah. Like, oh my God, I had an accident. Are you okay? Yeah, it's no problem. Is the car okay? Yeah, it was just hardware. Por eso se llama hardware shop. Taller de enderezado. So hardware is everything. It's it's todo lo que externo. Por ejemplo, la carcasa. Mm -hmm. um, en un carro es la carrocería, la lata. You know that's hardware. All right. Next we have a webcam. Teacher, um, the words in Spanish, uh, tangibles. Eh, Intangibles in English uh, have the same writing, yes. right? Yes. But what is the correct pronunciation? Tangible. Tangible. Untangible. Mm, Untangible. Mm -hmm. Okay. It sounds like tangerine. <laughs> tangerine, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so we have webcam. Everybody has a webcam. Thank you for the people that have the webcam. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, remember before, like 15 years ago, maybe if you had a webcam, you were cool. Mm -hmm. like, oh my God, I have a webcam. Yes. In Messenger. And they were very expensive. Mm -hmm. Now you can buy webcams for $10 or $5. Or you can make your cell phone a webcam. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, next we have podcast. Podcast. Mm -hmm. podcast and blog is the same thing, except podcast, you're live. 
So for example, when Ivania makes her blog about Morasan and she becomes very popular, she's going to say, okay, class uh, people, Wednesday at 8 p.m. I will be in a live podcast. I will be interviewing King Flip. <laughs> yes. Podcast. Next we have spyware. Spyware. Mm -hmm. Spyware virus. They're all pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Instant messaging. What is WhatsApp? Instant messaging. Instant. But but if you give me the technical the technical um, explanation, what is WhatsApp? Mm -hmm. It's an app for instant messaging. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, I think so. Yes. Saben cuál aplicación es muy buena y nadie la usa es Google Talk. It's very very good, but nobody uses it. Mm -hmm. I recommend you that one. Okay. Next, we have computer virus. Ooh. Virus will always exist. No importa que antivirus tenga, they will always exist. Yes. Y cada vez peor. Yes. Because it's necessary. It's necessary the virus to exist. For the antivirus. Yes. It's business. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, class. So um, tomorrow we're going to continue regarding this about the computer terms. Okay. okay. Hi, teacher. Let me see. Oh, hold on. All right. So tomorrow we're going. To... Ah, stop. So tomorrow we're going to continue with. As an objective, by the end of this class, participants will learn to practice and use passive of the present continuous, present perfect, and the future. Oh, we're going to study present continuous, present perfect, and future. Recuerden lo que les dije uh, la semana pasada. Si ustedes pueden, okay, por algo se llaman tiempos simples. Está el futuro simple, presente simple, pasado simple. Mm -hmm. Esos son los primeros tres tiempos que tienen que saber es la básica del inglés por eso se llama simple mm -hmm. futuro simple mm -hmm. hay gente que piensa eh, a veces me pide teacher no entiendo esto y ok que estás viendo el futuro ok cuál futuro o sea, el futuro y me hacen así como cercano futuro cuál el futuro teacher o sea Entonces yo le digo, ¿cuál futuro? Yo voy a comer, yo estaré comiendo, yo habré comido, yo hubiera comido, yo voy a estar comiendo, ¿cuál futuro? Porque imagínense, eh, ella está estudiando, ah, yo voy a comer y vengo yo y le voy a enseñar, ¿yo habré comido? Sí, los dos son futuros, pero muy diferentes. Pero hay que para empezar aprender el simple, que es yo voy a... Uh -huh. Después aprende el presente perfecto. Si uno aprende en esos dos, ya se mezclan. Yo he comido, yo voy a comer. Yo he comido, yo voy a comer. Hmm, presente perfecto, futuro simple. Hoy mezclamos un futuro perfecto. Yo habré comido. O sea, nunca van a llegar a yo habré comido si no entienden de dónde vienen. De los dos tiempos de donde viene eso. ¿Me entienden? Eso es lo que vamos a ver mañana. Ok. Ok. So, thank you very much. Thank Have thank a you. happy Monday. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.